Howdy, hi there, friends and neighbors. This is your old pal, Jesse Laos, with Lazy Days Ahead. Where's Lisa? She's not going to be in this video, folks. This is all about me. All about I. All about me. See, even when I try to do a video for myself, she got to pop in. You see that, folks? That ain't right. That's all messed up. Listen, folks. I got to do a video, and I said I, me, my, I, because I was challenged by... That's right, MT Homestead, Mr. Big Mike. And Big Mike challenged me to do a video on how to do it. My sandwich that I like to eat during the hot summer here in Texas. I don't know about up, up there in Oklahoma where it's like, you know, 50 degrees all the time. And, you know, they got to wear jackets all the time. But down here in Texas, it gets hot. So I'm going to show you what I usually like to eat when it gets nice and hot. All right, stand by and watch this, folks. Mm -hmm, just saying. All right, folks, the ingredients I use for this for this sandwich are mayonnaise, chunk light tuna in water, not oil, water. Now you can use any mayonnaise and any tuna you like, but that's what we use. And then Lisa's fresh homemade bread and butter pickles. I'm about done on these things, this, these guys, but they are awesome. And then one delicious red or yellow apple. <laughs> this is what we put in the sandwich. You're gonna love it, folks. It's excellent when it's hot. I mean, I mean the weather. Okay, folks, now that we have it all mixed, I'm just gonna put it in a smaller bowl because it takes less room in the refrigerator. We're gonna put this in here, let it uh, chill for about 30 minutes to an hour. And once it's ready, we'll make the sandwich. We talk about it. good, good, good. Now, like I said, you can use any kind of tuna you want. We use the chunk like tuna and it's in water, not oil, because it just tastes so much better. Doesn't that look gorgeous, folks? I mean, if I can do it, Mike can do it. This is it, folks. All right, folks. Uh, this, uh, this tuna fish salad has been chilling in the refrigerator for about an hour now. So, I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Now, you can either put it in a lettuce and make like a lettuce wrap. I'll show you that here in a second if you can't see it. Like a lettuce wrap. <clears throat> or you can put it in your sandwich. I like to mayonnaise. And by the way, this is what Lisa buys is butter bread. I don't know if you've ever had butter bread, but it is awesome. Soft, tastes good, goes down good. Just like <clears throat> Buttered bread should. All right, so I buttered my bread, and then I'm gonna put me a slice of lettuce. This is what I like. Put my mayo, nays, and tuna fish, and apple, and pickle, all on my plate here. Yum, yum. And I like to add a little salt and pepper on mine. Lots of pepper, just a little sprinkle of salt. There you have it, folks. Now, if you don't want to eat a whole sandwich, guess what you can do? You can also throw a little bit on a Ritz cracker and have it kind of like a little cracker hors d'oeuvre. Mm -hmm. Just saying, folks. Look at that. There you go. For your light snack folks for your wrap folks if you want don't eat bread or if you just want to eat a good old cold sandwich this is it right here folks and on a hot summer day like it is like 95 with the heat index of about 100 
So this is gonna go down really good. So Mike, there you have it. Gotta have some ruffles to go with it. Mm-hmm. Oh man, it tastes so good. Let me tell you folks, the person that I wanna challenge to do the same thing, thank you Mike for challenging me, is I wanna challenge Josh over at Sherman Farm, Sherman Family Farms. Also wanna challenge Tony from, you know where, Creekside Maples. And one last one I wanna challenge is old Jerry from B Butler Family Farm. I gotta get him to do something because I, he's just gonna sit down and sit on his, you know what, doing lives and I want to get him to do us a, a video of how to make a sandwich and one more I'm going to throw in there for for grins is old Daz all the way from down under I'd like to see what the down under folks make for their summer mm -hmm. so Mike one once again Mike can't thank you enough for uh, giving me the challenge and it came out good so like a sandwich should love you guys talk to y'all later bye